For cutting a 3D file on the ShopBot, load up Partworks 3D, and then load a file. I've got an STL, and this is a logo that I want to cut out in three dimensions. So I make sure that my dimensions are correct. Right now, that's way too large. So I want to scale one dimension, the others scale automatically. Click Next to go to the next step. Here, it's very important to select the XY coordinate. It's not as the center of the part, rather this bottom corner. Otherwise, when you go to cut it, it's not going to cut where you think. Um, you can also add manual offsets here, but it's easier to do that on the machine itself. Um, at this point, click Apply, and then Slice Model. Um, here, I'm going to slice thicknesses of 0 0.125 inches. Since I'm cutting in wax, I could actually cut deeper. It's only a quarter of an inch deep total, so I could cut deeper if I wanted to. Um, and then it will create a file. So I've already got a couple here. I'm just going to save this as a different name. And it says it is saved. So I'll click Next. Here it's going to select the uh, toolpath for the rough cuts. Rough cuts are faster and more uh, coarse grain cuts. So you can select which uh, bit you have here. And I just happen to only have uh, ball nose bits in the eighth inch uh, size. So um, that's what I've selected here. Um, you can actually edit these parameters, but you have to click this button first. So you can change the speed and the, the feed and plunge rate and the spindle speed. If we're cutting in wax, we can pretty much just go as fast as we can. and we, it, It's not going to have much resistance. Um, here, Z level, we want to raster it. Uh, that will raster it this dimension. If you want to raster it Y, you can raster it this dimension. Um, at this point, I'm going to calculate. And you can see that it has calculated the raster cuts. And it separated this into four separate cuts. Um, we can change the pass depth here. And so now I've got 0 0.25 inches if I calculate. Um, it says that no tool path has been created. Uh, the step down size does not exceed the cut plane depth. So we do 0.125. There we go. So now I'm cutting uh, an eighth of an inch at a time. So it'll only make two passes. So you can then adjust the, the uh, settings accordingly. Um, so I've clicked Calculate. I'm going to click Next. This is the finishing tool path. This will actually get more details in here. Um, usually you want that to be fairly fine. Uh, I'm not going to change my bit. I only have one uh, eighth inch bit right now. So I'll keep that. Um, this information looks fine to me. Uh, raster angle. So what it's going to do, it's going to raster the final path starting at the bottom right corner. And go like this. And it's really up to you, whatever you would like to do with that. Um, you can change the feed rate and the plunge rate. Uh, the, this raster, since it's finer, uh, it's actually much slower. So you might have noticed it had a time down here once you calculated. The time isn't exactly correct, it seems. Uh, so this has eight minutes. I can guarantee it's probably going to take a little longer than that. So 
And this is the what the finish cut will look like. And you can create a cutout if you'd like. Um, and that would cut around the edges here. Um, I don't know, let's calculate. I didn't do a cutout previously, but so it'll cut all the way down to here. Just around the entire object. Um, click next. And now I can check it out. So I get my roughing tool path preview. So it'll do that pass and then my finishing. And then my cut. So something to note is that in here, um, my design has these cut all the way through, straight down to the bottom. But I have a ball nose bit. And uh, my ball nose bit doesn't go straight 90 degrees to the bottom here. So it's going to leave a little bit of an edge, or uh, rather a little bit of a smooth uh, corner on the bottom. Also, around these smaller spots here, my bit is too big to actually make those cuts completely all the way through. So it's calculated about how far to do it, and that's okay with me. I can, I can live with that small impression. So I click Next, and I can save the toolpaths. So uh, I can save the roughing toolpath, finishing toolpath, and the cutout toolpath. Now, uh, if I go back and use the same bit for all of these, I should be able to save it all to a single file. Um, and it gives you an estimated time. Again, the estimated time is not really, uh, I didn't find it to be very accurate. But at this point, it's, uh, it's pretty much done. So uh, what I could do is close this, open up ShopBot, uh, software and cut the part.